This is a city by the sea. If a river ran through the city and into the sea, then the city will be divided. Block cross straight traffic. Commercial exchanges between the people will also be extremely inconvenient. As the lord of the city, you would think of building a bridge, connecting the two sides, but with years of water wearing it down, made the riverbed extremely soft. The newly repaired bridge will subside within a few years. Due to its location at the mouth of the sea, raging tides, wind and waves, the traditional piling process doesn't work either. But that doesn't stop the smart you. You instruct the craftsmen to work along the planned bridge axis, dump tens of thousands of cubic meters of stones into the river. A low stone embankment spans the bottom of the river. This huge stone embankment, like a stone valve sinking to the bottom of a river. In this way, the vertical pressure of the bridge pier can be scattered over a wider area of riverbed. This is the basis of distribution. However, with the rising and falling of the tides, under the repeated impact of seawater, the piers are easy to clear, to strengthen the piers, so you build the piers into a new type, so you can split the waves like a boat, greatly reduces the impact of water flow on the bridge pier. The stone slabs are stacked in a crisscross pattern. At the same time, grooves are cut between adjacent stone slates, embedded in the ironclad slate. It will be firmly locked. This is the ironclad stone. At high tide, ships are used to transport the stone beams between the piers. As the water level drops after low tide, the stone beam can be placed smoothly. Finally, the craftsmen make fine adjustments to the stone beam. Make sure the installation is stable. Not only does it avoid complex processes, it is also the perfect use of nature and manpower. You also send people to cultivate large numbers of oysters in the sea. The oysters grew and bred between the rocks. Its special secretions and shells can consolidate scattered stones into a hole. As if to give the foundation, a layer of natural concrete was poured. It's a gravity strike. The entire bridge, not only does it solve the complex construction problems under water pattern conditions, it also created a valve foundation. Technology of gravity fixing and floating beam. Ben, congratulations. You invented the Luyang Bridge.